I am Anil Kumar and now let us practice with the compound angle formula trigonometry unit 7. The question here is determine exact value of tan of minus 15 degrees. You can pause the video, solve and then check with my solution. Now when we say tan of minus 15 degrees, what do we mean? We mean that the angle is like this minus means clockwise correct kind of like this so you are in quadrant 4 this is 15 degrees acute angle so we can write tan of minus 15 degrees as equal to minus of tan 15 degrees since when you are in quadrant 4 tan is negative right so if you compare with its acute angle the related acute angle which will be here tan 15 degrees we have to do negative of that right that is one way now tan of 15 degrees can be written as combination of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees right? and now we can apply the compound angle formula for tan and find the answer now the compound angle formula for tan is tan A minus B equals to tan A minus tan B divided by 1 minus 1 plus tan A tan B. Right, so at this stage you can apply the formula and continue. Well, some of you can also do one thing. They can write tan of minus 15 degrees as equal to tan of 30 degrees minus 45 degrees. Well, that is another option. And then apply this formula, I can do it, right? But I prefer to do this way since it gives me an opportunity uh, to remind you that tan is odd function. And also, remember this, tan of minus theta is minus tan theta, right? So that also works. Tan of minus 15 degrees is minus tan 15 degrees. So I prefer this way. Anyway, so here is an opportunity to learn few more things. Now, to find the values, we can use special triangles. So special triangle for 45 and special triangle for 30. You can always use your calculator, but when it comes to exact values, you should be using special triangles, right? So this triangle 1 1 square root 2 for pi by 4 for pi by we need 6 here yeah, 30 degrees okay let me write degrees 30 degrees and 60 degrees it is 1 2 and square root 3 let me make this 45 degrees correct okay now we know the formula is minus tan of 45 degrees minus tan of 30 degrees we are just applying this formula here now 1 plus tan 45 times tan 30 degrees now substituting the values it's important to continue with this negative outside okay tan 45 you know is 1 right 45 degrees is 1 so 1 minus tan of 30 degrees is 1 over square root 3 so we get here 1 over square root 3 and then we have 1 plus tan of 45 is 1. So 1 times tan of 30 is 1 over square root 3. So we have got uh, square root 3 in the denominator. Now let's take that as common and simplify. So we have square root 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3 in the numerator. And in denominator, we have square root 3 plus 1 divided by square root now at this stage you can actually cancel these and you can write this as equal to minus square root 3 minus 1 divided by square root 3 plus 1. Now my recommendation is that do not stop here. Whenever we are trying to find the exact values, radical sign should not be in the denominator. So at this stage, you should rationalize, right? So let us rationalize this. That is to say that multiply and divide by the conjugate. So in this case, conjugate of denominator is square root 3 minus 1, correct? So when you do this, then we get minus and then 
square root 3 minus 1 whole square which gives you a square minus 2ab plus b square that is 3 minus 2 times square root 3 plus 1 divided by a square minus b square since it is some times difference so we get 3 minus 1 and that can be simplified to 4 minus 2 square root 3 with a negative sign this negative sign divided by 3 minus 1 is 2 correct and this can be further simplified and you can write down your final answer dividing by 2 we get 2 I mean negative sign is there okay negative sign should not forget this minus square root 3 right or I could write this taking care of this negative sign square root 3 minus 2 as our answer right so have a good look at it so these are the steps to be followed to answer this question so what you learn here is that 15 degrees could be written as a combination of difference of 45 and 30 degrees and then you can apply the compound angle formula remember that whenever you are working with exact values denominator should be rationalized if you get a radical as we did here then simplify it so this is much simplified form in which we expect answer from you i hope that helps thank you and all the best